I'ma do it like I ain't been done. I'ma do it like I ain't been done. Okay, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel again and again and again and again and again. So today is finally my straight hair routine. Now this is like an eight day old wash and go, the usual right before I wash, it's a two day process. So I went ahead and the night before I washed my hair, I mean the night before I straightened my hair, I, you know, took my hair down. This is what my hair is looking like and I washed it. Now starting off the next day with freshly deep conditioned hair, I rinsed it all out. These are all the twists. I'm taking my It's a 10 leave-in conditioner because it's like bomb.com and I'm taking this pretty expensive Kenra blow drying spray that is freaking bomb.com again it helps the blow drying process tremendously and y'all know I got a lot of hair and this just helps drying faster and it's an extra aid in heat protecting do you know what I'm saying so yeah I like to take my time when I'm straightening my hair I only do it once a year so the products are kind of ex expensive you don't have to use these but I just use it because um, this is a one-time thing and I always get nervous and oh my god, you see my face? Look, look at my face. A mess. <laughs> like a hot mess. But this took a long time, y'all. So I'm going to take my paddle brush and um, this is my blow dryer with the, with the um, concentration nozzle on it. And um, I'm just going to do what I'm doing here. Now, it takes you a minute to get the hang of things, you know, because I don't do this every couple months. I just do it once a year. And I'm just like mainly focusing it on my roots because I have a lot of hair and my hair is um, on the kinkier side, 4A, 3C. Um, this helps a lot with um, being able to straighten it later since I only do one pass on the straightener. So yeah, this is how I blow dry my hair with a paddle brush. A lot of people use like a hard bristle brush as well. I'm just using what I have and yeah. Y'all, this is my hair now. Like, I have a lot of hair. I could literally survive Antarctica with this amount, this amount of hair. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I could, I could give hair to everybody and their mama if I wanted to. But yeah, so I'm gonna start off with my uh, straightening now. Since it took me like all day, now we're at night because you know it took me all day. So at first, I used my Chi 44 Iron Heat Guard, and I just sprayed that like a mist on my blown out hair. And then with each section that I sectioned off, I sprayed my Tresemme heat protect it on it and I let it sit for a minute because I don't like straightening my hair right after I put a product on it because although you see steam like you don't know if that's your hair cooking or if that's a product cooking on your head so I just like let it sit and soak into my strands make sure every strand is coated and then look at my face oh my gosh I look like I'm in pain because I am because I'm tender headed then a mug and look at this big blob on the side of my head okay sidetrack sidetrack so Oh, Jesus so yeah what am I doing I'm gonna straighten my hair I have a chi flat iron and what I do is I just comb out my section a lot of people use a chase method I don't um, I just go over my roots a couple of times and then don't mind the color of this straightener man like my mom got this for me and I just yeah but <laughs> and I just let it go and then after I straighten my hair I, I normally all the time do one pass and I go very slow and that's how straight it gets I don't get bone straight, but I don't mind not having bone straight hair. And I just comb it out with my rat um, tail comb and I cut the ends just to give another trim here and there so I don't have to do it later on. And that's literally about it, y'all. I straighten one section. This is real time and so this, this is how long it's really taking me to straighten each piece. I did them really small because I knew I wasn't going to get bone straight, so I did it smaller sections and I just go over my roots a couple of times oh, 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 like a lot a couple of times and then I just go very slow now sometimes I'll regrip it because I'll lose my grip sometimes but for the most part I only went over my sections one time except for my roots but my roots always have been able to handle it because it's like 
fresh hair and then once my ends are there I comb I comb them out some more with a rat tail comb and then I go ahead and trim the ends off and this is like one side I told you it's not bone straight this is one side and that's the other now my hair does get flatter as the days go on because I lay on it and I wrap it and stuff but yeah this is um sped up a little bit it's just the top of my head now the top of my head I did go over a couple more times because it's the top of my head and people are going to see that more um and I just I felt comfortable enough to do like two passes on the top of my head because I've done it before it's only my this is like my third time straightening my hair since I've grown it out and I strain it every December like everybody's always like straighten your hair and I'm like y'all need to wait because this takes me literally two days to get done and this is how big it is on day one but this is how flat my hair gets once I lay on it and I wrap it up at night this is how flat my hair eventually gets so I have movement I have body it's not bone straight one day I would love to do bone straight but I'm just too scared I'm just a weenie but yeah, yo, <laughs> that's my hair straightening uh, video. It's not really a how-to. If you guys want to do what I did, go for it. Um, I'm not a professional. I just do the minimum so that my hair doesn't get damaged. But yeah, that's a little Snapchat for you. So if you didn't get me on Snapchat or Instagram, go for it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. I'ma do it like I ain't been done. I'ma do it like I ain't been done.